Bombs are something that have been an ever-growing part of the world's military strength for many centuries. It started out with famed fire dragons and other armaments from China, Korea, and other nations. Then they became things like mines, grenades, missiles, and then the atomic bomb. With each new generation, a new, more powerful kind of bomb seems to emerge. But what are the strongest of the bunch? Which ones that have been tested have proven that they are the absolute best of the best in terms of overwhelming power? Allow us to show you the most powerful bombs of all time. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 9. Mark 14 Nuclear Bomb The Mark 14 nuclear bomb was an American thermonuclear weapon designed in the 1950s and was the first solid-fuel staged hydrogen bomb in the world. As an experimental weapon, the United States only produced five of these bombs by 1954, testing the device in April of that year during the Castle Union nuclear experiment. Using a non-radioactive isotope of lithium, the nearly 18-foot-long bomb was designed to be delivered by either B-36 or B-47 bombers, due to its substantial weight of 31,000 pounds, and employed a parachute drop method to decelerate its fall to the Earth. During the Castle Union nuclear test, the MK-14 was successfully detonated with a yield of 6.9 megatons. In terms of size, the MK-14 was approximately 328 times more powerful than the atomic bomb Fat Man dropped over Nagasaki in 1945. Despite successful tests, the MK-14s were retired later in the year due to the fact that 5 megatons of its total power derived from fission reactions. As a result, the weapon was considered very dirty, referring to the tremendous amount of radiation dispersed from the device after detonation. In response, all five of the MK-14s were recycled and used to construct the larger, more effective MK-17 variants by 1956. Number 8. Mark 16 Nuclear Bomb The Mark 16 nuclear bomb was a large thermonuclear weapon based on the Ivy Mike hydrogen bomb. The weapon was the only thermonuclear bomb ever developed to use cryogenic deuterium fusion fuel. Due to the number of vacuum flasks required for this type of fuel, the bomb was extraordinarily large, weighing 42,000 pounds with a length of nearly 25 feet. As a result, a specially modified B-36 was the only American aircraft capable of deploying the weapon, which says a lot if you think about it. The bombs were retired by April 1954 due to successful test of solid-fueled nuclear weapons. Although tests of the M-16 were planned to take place during Operation Castle, the success of Castle Bravo's shrimp device made the MK-16 relatively obsolete in the eyes of the American military. Nevertheless, current estimates place the MK-16 series of bombs in the top 10 most powerful nuclear weapons ever developed due to their expected yield of 7 to 8 megatons. Number 7. The B-53 Nuclear Bomb The B-53 was a bunker buster thermonuclear weapon developed by the United States military during the 1960s. The bomb was first designed in response to the deep underground bunkers constructed for Soviet leaders during the Cold War. Using a surfaced blast collapse surrounding Earth onto its target, the bomb was designed to inflict massive damage on underground centers, thus giving the United States a decisive edge in the event of nuclear war. Although much smaller than nuclear bombs from the 1950s, the bomb had a far greater yield of 9 megatons. At this yield, a B-53 detonation was capable of destroying all structures within a 9-mile radius, with severe burns possible as far as 20 miles. Depending on terrain, researchers believe that casualty rates within 2.25 miles of the blast would be in the vicinity of 90%. That's pretty scary, right? But this was the kind of thing that quote-unquote needed to be developed in the Cold War to quote-unquote prepare for all contingencies in regards to what the Soviet Union might also be doing. Number 6. MK-36 Nuclear Bomb The MK-36 nuclear bomb was a high-yield thermonuclear weapon first developed in the 1950s. Using a multi-stage fusion system comparable to the MK-21, the MK-36 was considered the first dry nuclear weapon ever tested by the United States government. In total, the massive MK-36, which measured over 150 feet long and weighed nearly 17,700 pounds, was capable of delivering a total yield of 10 megatons upon detonation. Using two separate parachutes, the bomb was designed to be airdropped slowly over its target to give bomber crews enough time to escape potential harm. In total, the United States military developed over 940 MK-36 bombs between 1956 and 1958, with two separate versions being developed, including the Y1 and Y2, respectively. 
As with most of the United States' early nuclear weapons, however, the Mk-36 was quickly retired by 1962. Number 5. The Ivy Mike H-Bomb The Ivy Mike H-Bomb, hydrogen bomb, was a thermonuclear weapon first detonated in November 1952 by the United States on the Inouetak Atoll. Designed by Richard Garwin, the bomb was incredibly massive with a total weight of 82 tons. Following detonation, Ivy Mike produced a total yield of 10.4 megatons, creating a fireball with a 2.1 mile radius. The explosion was so powerful and violent that the bomb's mushroom cloud rose to an altitude of 56,000 feet in less than 90 seconds. Radioactive debris was reported falling nearly 35 miles away from the blast site, while radioactive fallout remained for several months. The explosion also resulted in the creation of two new elements, known as Einsteinium and Fermium, which were produced around the detonation site due to the bomb's highly concentrated neutron flux. Number 4. Mk-24 Nuclear Bomb the Mk-24 was a massive thermonuclear weapon developed by the United States military between 1954 and 1955. As the third largest nuclear bomb, in size that is, ever constructed by the Americans, the bomb itself was massive, measuring over 296 inches long and weighing over 42,000 pounds. Although never officially tested by the government except for a prototype device in 1954, Researchers believed that the bomb possessed an overall yield of 10 to 15 megatons. Due to this destructive capability, a 64-foot parachute was specially designed for the Mark 24 to slow its descent and allow bomber crews ample time to escape its blast radius. Although decommissioned soon after its development, a surviving Mark 24 casing remains on display at the Castle Air Museum in Antwater, California to this day. Number 3. Mk-17 Nuclear Bomb the Mark 17 nuclear bomb was the first mass-produced series of hydrogen bombs ever developed by the United States military in 1954. Although phased out in 1957, the Mk-17 was an extremely powerful weapon with a yield approaching 15 megatons. Approximately 200 of the Mk-17s were developed between 1954 and 1955, along with several modified B-36 bombers designed specifically for the bomb's particularities. Like many of the bombs on this list, a 64-foot parachute was also specifically designed to delay the bomb's descent to Earth, giving bomber crews time to escape the blast radius and initial shockwave upon detonation. Five of the casings from the Mk-17 can now be observed firsthand at various Air Force museums across the country, including the Castle Air Museum in Atwater, California, and the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Number 2. TX-21 Nuclear Bomb the TX-21, aka Shrimp, thermonuclear bomb was a weapon first tested in March 1954 at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. The massive bomb was originally designed as a 6 megaton weapon. However, an error caused the explosion at Bikini Atoll to be nearly three times the predicted yield, generating nearly 15 megatons of destructive force. Within one second, the nuclear weapon formed a 4.5 mile wide fireball that was visible over 250 miles away. The characteristic mushroom cloud reached heights of 47,000 feet in less than a minute, with an overall width of 7 miles, contaminating both land and ocean with radiation. Unanticipated fallout and radiation created an international incident in the weeks that followed, as thousands of individuals were affected by various levels of radiation. Although the TX-21 was not the largest nuclear bomb designed by the American military, it remains the largest nuclear test ever carried out by the United States. Number 1. Tsar Bomba The hydrogen bomb known as the Tsar Bomba was the most powerful nuclear bomb ever built and was detonated by the Soviet Union in October 61 over Novaya Zemlya. Due to its tremendous size and destructive power, 50 megatons, a special parachute was constructed to slow the descent of the bomb to Earth, giving the bomber crew time to fly appropriately 28 miles away before the Tsar Bomba detonated. Unbeknownst to the crew, however, Soviet scientists gave the pilots only a 50% chance of actually surviving the blast once detonation occurred. The nuclear blast, possibly reaching a yield of 58.6 megatons, was so powerful that shockwaves were felt over 127 miles away by an observation aircraft, a Soviet Tu-16. Following its detonation, the Tsar Bomba could be seen over 620 miles away and created a 5-mile wide fireball along with a 42-mile high mushroom cloud. But that's not the thing that should scare you. 
Rather, that would be the fact that originally the Tsar Bomba was supposed to hold a yield of 100 megatons, double what was done in the explosion that caused a lot of havoc. But it was held back because of fear of destruction to the test area and radiation fallout. So what do you think? What do you think of this list of bombs that have been born into our world and have incredible power? Were you shocked about the payloads that these various bombs held? Were you expecting these to be as strong as they were? Do you think that the future will bring even more powerful bombs into the world? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.